to. First of all, let me apologize uh, that the big event happening at the Paramount, that's a community-wide one, and they wanted us to really sell it and to, and to send it to everyone. And I realized that a lot of you have parent-teacher conferences that night, and so it wasn't fair to invite you to something that you can't attend. But So again, that's on us, and I apologize. But let, let's get to uh, the meeting that happened this afternoon, the board work session, joined now by uh, Chairman McBride. Uh, Chairman McBride, uh, what, what, do you, what message do you have to the greatest faculty and staff in the world? You know, we are so blessed in this area to have the faculty and staff that we do. We started out with uh, having uh, the uh, Bonneville Online and TCH uh, uh, present to us uh, what's going on in their schools. Um, the online classes, uh, the the technical career school is just phenomenal. It's, it gives uh, students in our district an alternative to the traditional high school. And uh, we are very fortunate to have these programs. These students uh, are um, excited about their program. They're excelling. They're they're improving their their education. They're leaving these schools accredited, uh, ready to with certificates. And you know we're just so blessed to have not only these programs but those uh, principals and teachers who make the program what it is. And you also spend a lot of time talking about trimester. Uh, nothing is set in stone yet in, in that. In those regards, uh, talk about the, the discussion on trimesters today. Sure, uh, we uh, had the uh, administrative team and also the principals there. It was an excellent meeting. In fact, as a board member, it was probably one of the best meetings we've had on trimesters. I've uh, indicated to Dr. Shackett that we, as board members, weren't truly uh, understanding of all the uh, implications of a trimester and the change from trimester to an AB pro, uh, uh, schedule. And uh, other board members shared the same concern. In fact, the, the staff came to us and apologized and says, you know, we're so in the trenches of everything, getting everything done, that sometimes we forget that element that we need uh, make sure that you're up to speed. And, and we as a board want to hold them accountable to that. We, we, this is a big decision that the board is making and, and changing. And I know it's been discussed in our district for many years. And so we just wanted to make sure that, that we were getting the information to make the, uh, the most uh, uh, well-rounded decision for our district. And so we've asked the leadership team now to delay the vote until December 9th. Uh, that gives us an opportunity to have two community meetings that will bring in the community, get their input. We're also going to be doing an informational survey that will allow the district to input uh, their uh, standard of education, what they feel is our district should be going. And so this is going to give us a great opportunity to learn what the community wants. We're receiving the information from the, the district leadership team, and then we can make uh, an educated decision to make sure we're doing exactly what our community needs uh, in our district.